What if I tell you that you can manage projects, tasks, notes, and also schedule video calls with your team using one single tool? It's not magic, and today I'm gonna walk you through an amazing piece of software called Taskade. Now, if you're not familiar with Taskade, it is basically an all-in-one collaboration platform for remote teams, freelancers, and startups designed to cut out the busy work associated with managing different tools like Slack, Notion, Trello, Jira, and instead gives you a simple framework of subspaces where you can manage your projects and your clients. Before we get started, I just wanted to point out that this is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial of all the cool things uh, you can do in Taskade, but more of an overview of how I benefit from it. I never really had a productivity system, but I realized that with so many collaborations and projects going on, I really needed a way to stay on top of my work, keep track of my side projects, collaborate with others, as well as a solid system that doesn't slow me down. And that's why Taskade is great for me. It really allows me to move fast, just get right to work, and today I'm gonna show you how I do so. Let's get into it! The first thing I'm gonna do is to walk you through through the dashboard. When you create a new account, you can just uh, sign up with your Google account, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app. By the way, you can download the app so that you can use it from your phone or tablet as well. Personally, I only use the app because it's more convenient for me, but you can also use the browser if you wish. This is what the dashboard looks like. You can customize uh, your background, which is pretty awesome. And you can either choose between a selection of images or you can use uh, your own ones. I love the mountains and the snow, so let's use this one for now. On the left hand side, I have my workspaces um, and some other cool things uh, like my activities, my calendar, the projects with a star on and all the tasks uh, that have been assigned to me. So here I have my two workspaces while these ones uh, are my sub workspaces and are different uh, from the projects that sit uh, in uh, each of um, our workspaces and sub workspaces. Now here, I think it's important to understand uh, the difference between uh, subspaces that are these four in my case and projects uh, that is just uh, one here. And the reason is uh, that uh, our subspaces uh, are independent from the main workspace and that's why they don't show in this uh, section of the app. Now, I wanna show you what's in these uh, workspaces and subspaces. So the first one is dedicated to my side projects. Um, I got uh, YouTube here, my Instagram, and uh, here I keep track of my design uh, projects as well. While in the second workspace, I have uh, my weekly schedule where I can keep track of my long and short uh, term goals. And if I want to, I can also add uh, new workspaces like this one here that I just created and if I press on here I can add a sub space as well. Now I want to show you how to recreate uh, this template here that I use for my side projects. So let's go ahead um, and create um, a new template. The difference between projects uh, and templates is that uh, templates can be used uh, infinite times as a starting point for a new project. And this means that instead of starting from scratch, uh, I can speed up my process by using a ready-made uh, template. What's also cool is that uh, you can start a new project and turn it into a template afterwards if you think you might need it again. Now let's go ahead and create uh, our first uh, blank uh, project. I'm gonna start uh, from scratch, uh, but here I also have the option to start uh, from a ready-made uh, template, but we're gonna get uh, there later in this video. Well, here I can also toggle uh, between views, uh, which is probably my favorite uh, feature of uh, Taskade, so that uh, you can select uh, the one that best suits uh, your needs. Taskade works uh, in such a way that allows you to add blocks uh, and choose between checklists, uh, bullets, uh, numbers, uh, or uh, just a block of uh, free text. So I'm gonna open up uh, my 
template, the one that we want to copy so that we can have it uh, as a reference. By the way, you can have uh, more than one project at the same time, which is uh, super handy. So this is what we are going to recreate um, in a second. Let's create our first block. In this case, it is a checklist and I'm gonna call this uh, basics. Here I can also customize uh, the text. So in this case, I have a red uh, line. And now let's move on to the next uh, block. In this case, it is a checklist. So I'm gonna press on the first uh, option. Now what's left? Mm. Got another checklist. I am simply copying and paste uh, the text to speed up uh, my process. Right, and uh, now if I want to, I can also indent uh, the text simply by clicking on the tab uh, bottom and I can write uh, whatever I want. Another cool thing um, is that uh, you can fold and unfold uh, each uh, section. So let's say I have uh, a lot of content, I can simply fold and unfold, which is super handy. Now let's copy the last one as well with the deliverables. Now I want to see if I copy the whole thing, uh, if I can paste it in the other file. Let's see. So this is a checklist. Nice. Mm -hmm. I can delete this one for now. I don't need it. Um, and also I can delete uh, this uh, first uh, section as well. I like everything to be organized uh, and super tidy. And I almost forgot to give a uh, title to this, um, to this project. So let's call this um, freelance uh, project uh, template uh, version two. And here I can also choose between uh, an icon. So uh, which one shall I use? Um, let's go ahead with a flower. Inside each project um, I can add uh, a due date, let's say it's, the, it's due the 22nd and I can also assign it. Uh, in this case uh, I don't have anyone to collaborate with me on this project so I can also can simply assign it to myself and here I can also add uh, a tag. Now I've already created three tags uh, but if you want to create a new one you can simply just press here and uh, select your color so that uh, here you can see that we have created um, another tag Inside each tab and sub tab, I also have the option to comment or attach a file as well. Well, here I can also start an instant call with a team member if I wish, which is super awesome if you are collaborating with others. Now, let's say I want to invite someone to collaborate with me. So all I need to do is to enter their email address or username or uh, copy uh, the link and share it uh, with them. And here we can start chatting. Like if I click on this, uh, I can mention my team uh, member. Let's say it's me. So I can write uh, my message and uh, the other person will get uh, notified. And if I want to, I can also make uh, the chat smaller. So for instance, uh, now that I work uh, by myself, I probably don't need it uh, all the time, but it's always uh, nice to have, especially when I work uh, with other designers. I think it's really important that I have the option to just um, comment uh, and say, let's say, hey, Sarah, uh, have you finished this or uh, you know something like that and those are the main things uh, you need today to get started uh, with Taskate. now let's see how it looks uh, from different uh, views I have the board uh, which uh, sort of remind me of a Trello board and again I can make the chat uh, smaller then I have the action, which I think is even more suitable for this kind of project. And then the mind map and the organization chart as well. But for now, I'm gonna stick with a list and you can also set it to be your default view as well. 
Now, the last thing uh, left to do is to turn uh, this project into a template. So all I need to do is to add uh, this uh, as a template and I can save it um, in my design work uh, like the last one. And so here I can see my template. Another great feature that I like about Taskade is the ability to choose between many pretty awesome templates. And there is a template for pretty much anything from ski trip planning to a novel writing planner and even a self quarantine checklist. Where can we find templates? So simply start a new project. Here I can see that I have my templates and some more. But now I'm going to click on this button and here I can find uh, a wider selection of templates. So if you're a designer like myself, I really recommend you checking uh, the ultimate design system checklist and the five day design sprints checklist as well. So far, we've seen the basics of the Taskade interface, how to create projects and templates, how to use ready-made templates. But there are other cool things that we haven't had the time to touch on today, but it's worth mentioning, like the Chrome extension that allows you to highlight strips of text on a web page and add them straight into your Taskade projects. The calendar is also very useful and you can connect it to your Google Calendar as well. And there are hundreds of other cool things you can do in Taskade. For example, I'm trying to learn new shortcuts every day and that's super easy to do because Taskade tells you exactly which buttons you need to press. What I really like about Taskade is that uh, it feels familiar to people like me that are used to tools like uh, Google Docs uh, or Tasks uh, and the interface is fun and playful without being uh, too cluttered. And what's really exciting uh, to me is the flexibility of this tool. I could also use it for user research or even design the sitemap for my web design projects. And that's all from me. Huge thanks to Taskade for sponsoring uh, this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, leave a like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with my latest videos. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!